welcome back to home school today i am here to discuss with you about very important topic that is why we can't score after fault in mathematics and where are the points we lose marks in the subject so we have only one day time tomorrow you are going to attempt your karnataka state board sslc examination of mathematics subject so i think your all practice is completed you are up to the mark now whatever you have practiced whole year you are going to put it over tomorrow in the paper right so you feel that you are all perfect in everything but when you see a new question that means a minor application question then you will be nervous right so please don't be nervous by seeing any new question take it a challenge why i can't do that type of question any type of problem you can do children be confident in you avoid that nervousness right be confident in you i can do any type of problem you make your mind like this and read the problem again and again suppose if you feel difficulty in any one or two problems wait for a while that means try to solve next problems or one main you complete then come back you may get an idea right at least if you won't get again then you go to another main and then come back like how you do at your home while you are practicing any new problems you are not getting so what do you do you wander or you have a foot or you go some walk then you come back then immediately you get that problem right the change of thinking make the answer so any new problem don't worry definitely you are going to get the answer for it and be confident in yourself whatever you do it will be right but make sure don't do mistakes in formulas most of the children loses marks at some point what are those points very important point is negative sign you forget about a negative sign or you don't take a bracket right you avoid negative sign or you take a negative sign very small such that it looks like a dot and you can neglect that negative sign while multiplication suppose if you have minus of minus 3 directly you will write minus 3 there you lose marks and very important concept is 3 plus 3 you are going to write it as 9 yes or no children yes 3 plus 3 we know its answer that is 6 but most of the children multiply there suppose same manner 3 into 3 you will write of there 6 there you will add so be confident about multiplication and addition carefully you see the number and do the answer statistics most of the children lose marks from this chapter because this chapter contains six marks and there will be two problems in that two problems calculation will be more suppose if you do one calculation wrong whole problem goes wrong so be careful do the calculation properly right while adding or while multiplying please check it carefully and rough work where you get a rough space in the answer sheet there only you have to do don't scratch anything on the question paper and your time limit is 3 hours 15 minutes why 15 minutes extra for reading the question paper and next mistake will be formulas please write the formulas carefully suppose if they ask you any formula what is a csa of a cylinder directly you will write of 2 pi rh but please children write along with lh side csa of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi rh square units right like this you should write completely and given data don't forget to write given data for every problem after writing given data check the formulas then calculation then at the end whatever question they ask you please end up with the same answer with a statement don't forget to write the statement at the ending that is also very important coming to constructions constructions is very easy please do carefully take a dark sharp pencil and do it right and uh, mention the measurements and all given data which is a similar triangle or what is the ratio of the line segment you are dividing or which are the tangents you are doing tangents but you won't mention that 
Suppose if you draw PQ, PR at the tangents means mention that therefore PQ and PR are the required tangents. Okay, like this very minor chinen, but it makes a major in your annual examination such that you are going to lose marks. Coming to graphs, they will be providing you two graphs. If they give you for pair of linear equations, one graph you are going to use and another graph for statistics or jives they will give you. So do neatly take a sharp pencil and do the calculation everything down the graph or back of the graph. But please label scale, x-axis, y-axis and the point of intersection of two lines. Where the two lines are intersecting, that x value and y value. You need to write in the graph itself. Right? Because you are solving the two equations in order to find the value of x and y. Don't forget that. Right? And while in the calculation also, please end up with a statement. What is that? Therefore, the two lines are intersecting. If intersecting, write intersecting. If parallel, write parallel. Or if coincident, they are coincident, you can write. At, if they are intersecting, at where it is intersecting, what is the coordinate, what is x value, y value, you are going to write. Okay. And next coming to surface areas, all formulas are very important. And arithmetic progressions, do careful finding the common difference and the terms. Suppose any three terms, five terms given, there you should give little concentration. Right? If you don't know any problem, don't try to solve the problem immediately. Just think a little. And next type of mistakes, what you are going to do, you know, numbering wrong. Suppose the question paper, the number will be 2, you will be writing 4. Or the number is 3, you will be writing 6 or 2. Like this, change of numbering. And one more equation. Suppose you will be having 2x square minus 5x plus 3 equal to 0 there. That minus 5x while writing in your answer sheet, you will write it as plus 5x. There it goes wrong, full problem will go wrong. Right? And very important, units you should write. What is that? Unit. Don't forget to write unit in surface areas. Square centimeters, square meters, units. Whatever it is, suppose the distance in coordinate geometry, you write only with units. Area, in areas related to circles, you can write with the square units, volume, cubic units. Like this, units are compulsory. Right? So, do the presentation neatly with a neat handwriting. Definitely, you are going to rock your examination. Your whole year practice, you are going to put in your paper tomorrow. So, do well, children. You are going to rock your exam and score out of out in mathematics. And time allotment is also very important, children. So be early to examination hall. And don't forget to take your geometry box. Right? Constructions and all we need to do, right? So take at least two pens and be early to the examination. So first, immediately when they give the paper, you just read once and start doing MCQs and one mark question. If you don't know any MCQ or any one mark question, leave gap and come back again and try to solve it and never leave any question without answering suppose if you don't know just you can put any of your option which you guess which is very nearer you can put that right so don't leave any question try to answer each and every problem verbal problems you need to answer with verbal statements every problem formulas are important and coming to last, theorems there. Now, theorems you should write very neatly with the figure and all the five steps. Theorem statement, given data, construction, to prove, proof, and statement, reasoning, this all compulsory. Read the question carefully and answer them. Read the question carefully and answer them. So, wish you all good luck, children. All the best. Definitely, you are going to rock your result. And please don't forget to share your result, right? I'll be waiting for your result. All the best. <laughs>